Well, here we go. This is the Big Old Master, and this is the version two. Huge shout out to OneRoid for sending me this EUC for review purposes, and there is a discount code linked in the description for a really nice 40% discount off most of their wheels, and they're also having a brilliant sale on at the moment. Okay, we're gonna break down this review into a few different areas. So let's start off with the portability of this wheel. This is not the lightest wheel, to be honest. I've had electric scooters, and a couple other EUCs, and this is extremely heavy. It's very, I mean, it's awkward to lift over 30 kilos, 36 kilograms, this EUC is. And that's one of the things I don't like about a lot of these new products coming out is the weight. But for some people, that actually wouldn't bother them. But from portability, it's not my favorite. Okay, when it comes to the design, I have to admit, it is a really nice looking EUC. The lights on the front look really cool. The side pads are actually not too bad considering, you know, they're stock pads and they're more or less quite soft. The tire on it, I'm not, you know, it's not my most favorite tire. I'd rather a street tire or something like this because it feels like when you're turning in a corner that the wheel is actually gonna slip out from underneath you. On the other hand, if you like EUC riding seated, which I, I don't do, I've never actually tried it. Nice soft seat at the front and it would actually be quite comfortable on this. Okay, so let's talk about comfort. You have these really large pedals, spike pedals. Probably the best that I've had on the EUC so far. But again, an issue with this is that even though the pads are generally comfortable enough, I found that my legs are kind of uncomfortable around this area. And I just, you know, it feels like there's a lot of pressure on my upper leg. You know, it is a pity. At the end of the day, you can put your own stock pads on. It's that one ride also provide. Of course, it does have that really nice suspension here. The problem with the suspension is that I was trying to pump this to 300 PSI and the chamber is not the best of quality and I can only get it up to just over 200 PSI. It's not the best design. You can of course adjust the rebound, how fast you want the suspension to come up and down after providing pressure on it. It could be, it is improved as far as I know on the version three batch I think. That's another thing that actually bothers me about this wheel is that the kickstand is actually, oh, is actually pointless. You can see the wheel like, it's just a stupid design. I mean, they could have done a lot better there and it can just tip over Ooh, quite easily. Bit of a nightmare from that point. Okay, so we do have to address the safety issue. And of course, a lot of Bagode wheels, they don't have the best track record for safety, as we all know. And I think I'm definitely skeptical about this wheel. And the reason why I say that is, is because actually the way the wheel is designed, there's nowhere near any type of water resistance as far as I can see on this. You have cables that are exposed on it. You have poor silicone jobs. You have even the cable at the front there. So if you're going very rough off-roading, I can imagine this cable getting damaged and that can potentially be a fire hazard. And of course, the design on it looks messy. Very exposed, poor silicone jobs in here. And what's most important is the battery casings are too exposed. Even though you have the side pads on here, if you hit this in the wrong area, you can damage them, damage the cells. Next of all, you could have a fire on your hands. And of course, where the padding is, that's your battery casings there. And there is actually Phillips screws, really messy job holding in the battery casing. It's poorly designed. It really is, and it has me worried. And I forgot to mention, the handle on it is very flimsy. And also, the charging ports on this, there was a video done by another YouTuber, and you can see that the charging ports were actually hot on this. Very poor wiring, and there was no fusible links in between them, for what I understand. So again, an extremely potential fire hazard on your hands. Have they addressed these issues in the latest batches? Personally, I don't know. But from looking at this wheel, I just don't feel safe. And the value, well, this wheel has actually dropped in price over the last while. And I think because of the battery size, you have decent suspension there, decent pedal sizes, decent stock padding on it as well. It's actually at the right price point. But most importantly, who is it for? Well, I gotta tell you, this wheel is definitely not for beginners due to the sheer weight and trying to control it. I think it's more for a long distance journey on smooth ground. 
I don't think it's really an off-road wheel. That's just my own opinion. The reason why I say that is because of the weight of it. Trying to control it and trying to turn the wheel is a little bit awkward from my point of view. So I think it's more of a straight road, long distance type of VUC. But from all the safety points on this, I'd probably be I'd feel better, to be honest, recommending something like the Inmotion wheels, the Inmotion V12 that I had a review. Even the Kingsong S18 was actually a really nice, well-built wheel. And the S19, I'd like to get my hands on to actually review that one. But I gotta say, it's an okay wheel, but would I like to ride it daily? Considering in my country where it rains a lot, probably not. You can't notice this on camera either, but sometimes the wheel actually has, when it's idle, it has a slight vibration every now and again. I don't know if that's actually quite normal, but I haven't updated the firmware on it or anything like that. Maybe that is the reason. A bit too much power for me, and there's not enough safety features there to make me feel comfortable riding this daily. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and check out that one ride link. Talk to you in the next video.